politics, religion, aliens, climate change, economics. There are plenty of polarizing topics, my friends. It can be difficult to get along with someone who doesn't share your point of view. Are you an emotionally reactive person that'll blow a head gasket if someone disagrees with you? Have no fear, my friends. We can help you turn a difficult conversation into a thoughtful discussion with another Wellness 101. Step 1. Keep an open mind. Families and friends have dissolved relationships over emotional reactions. Discussions are built on safety and trust. Keep in mind your peers may have different reasons motivating their viewpoints and actions. Try understanding what is important to them, what they need, and how those things impact their behaviors. Avoid making assumptions and instead try to find some common ground. Most people tend to agree or are more closely aligned when they discuss a topic and stay away from polarizing jargon and talk points. When people are reminded about what they agree upon rather than the extremes, it tends to reduce or diffuse conflict. Step 2. Seek first to understand then to be understood. Instead of simply listening to respond so you can debunk each other's point of view, try listening to understand. Look the person in the eye and give them your undivided attention. Truly listen to their story and how they develop their point of view. When we understand the experiences that have shaped a person's perspective, it becomes easier to tolerate rather than assuming they come from a certain camp. Ask genuine and clarifying questions to help you understand where they're coming from. When a person truly feels heard, it helps keep the conversation civil and creates a space where you can share your views without judgment. Step 3. Call time out. As soon as you feel yourself getting aggravated in the face of a discussion that makes you feel uncomfortable, call time out in your head and catch yourself before you say something you wish you hadn't. I realize this is easier said than done in the heat of the moment, especially if you're discussing a heavy subject. However, the more you're aware of what's going on inside you, the easier it will be to respond logically and not emotionally. Step 4. Build your tolerance. Hang out with people who have different ideas and perspectives as much as possible. In the same way you can build a tolerance to pain or caffeine, you can build a tolerance to differing opinions. But in order to do that, you must immerse yourself in it. You never know, you might actually learn something too. Folks, being tolerant is not the same as not disagreeing. It's okay to agree to disagree. Just remember to be kind to one another. It's not okay to put someone down for who they are or having an alternative perspective. Talk less, listen more, and try to find some common ground. Treat people how you want to be treated, and this polarizing world will become a much better place. Until next time, this is Mr. Wellness saying be well and follow the steps to a more tolerant you.